for today's video, I'm sharing with you guys a DIY IKEA Hacks room makeover. These are my favorite videos to film and I'm super excited. This will give you some inspiration for any room in your house realistically, but for me, I'm actually converting my dining area to kind of more of an office area with a lot of storage because if you guys didn't already know, I started a home decor shop this year and it's been doing really well. So thank you to anyone who has made a purchase so far, but I did need an area in my home to kind of fulfill the orders, list items, and just have extra storage with some really fun Ikea hacks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, but let's just jump right in. Right, I just wanted to share with you guys a quick little before of the space before we head on out to Ikea. As you guys remember, this used to be my dining area. We have a larger portion of the area here with a nice bright little window. I also have this little area here right off my kitchen, which I already moved in my mom dresser to. So I'm definitely going to need to do something to spice that up. All right, now that I'm back from Ikea, I actually wanna start this project first just because it actually needs to dry. All right, now that we've covered our work area, we're basically going to take these that I just cut evenly down the middle and we are going to stain them. And these are just gonna act like little cool moon shaped handles. I saw this on Pinterest, but I'm not following the instructions exactly. So we will see how it turns out. Also mainly curious to see how this will turn out because they didn't do it on this exact mom dresser. So I'm not exactly sure what it's going to look like on this one. I'm kind of like making my own little design pattern um, from the photo that I saw on Pinterest. Sometimes I like to grab inspiration, but I don't always like to copy it exactly. I like to make things my own. So that's what we're doing. So I hope it turns out nice. I think I'm gonna grab um, a little cloth and just kind of, or a paper towel and wipe off the excess. But for now, I just wanted to make sure that I got each of the sides stained. I actually think I'm just going to stick with the one coat of stain. And as you can see, I wiped off all of the excess. I'm gonna let them dry as is, and then we can glue them onto the dresser. So while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm gonna move on to the next project. But one of my favorite things at Ikea is they have several different options where you can make your own desk. So that is what I'm doing. I was able to score this in the as is section for 44% off, which this is great if you want to make a desk with it because it's gonna provide extra storage. The top is a little messed up, since I'm using it for a desk, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be covered. But if you find something like this in the as is section, you could easily just put like a piece of contact paper and you're good to go. I went ahead and got one of these little legs as I showed you guys, I got the black one. And then for the tabletop, I really wanted the pretty beige they had, but the white was cheaper. All right, update the desk is completed it's a little bit different than i anticipated the legs i actually just had to go all the way back to ikea to pick up so i originally intended to have a different leg on the right side of this desk but it broke when i was putting it together and it just seems like it's defective i looked online and all the reviews say that one in like every 10 of them are defective so i didn't want to risk getting another one didn't want to go with white either. I wanted to have like the contrast of the black legs, but I like the way that it looks. I'm going to go ahead and put a rug underneath it just to kind of spice it up. All right, for the next little hack, we are using these IKEA poster hangers is what these are for. But if you guys didn't know, IKEA actually sells fabric that you can just cut out yourself. So I went ahead and got this like really fun, just white and black pattern fabric. And I'm basically going to just stretch out the fabric with these. It's a fun little hack you can do. And then have them as two really inexpensive wall hangings. I got two yards of this fabric. It's only like $5.99 per yard. So this is gonna be a super affordable, like I said, art piece, wall hanging. And then this is from the dollar store. I'm just gonna use this and attach it so it has a way to secure onto the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and show you guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the first clip and I'm actually going to clip this onto the corner that way. It's like already aligned to what size it needs to be. And then I can just cut off the excess from there. I thought that that was a good idea. So just make sure it goes all the way to the end. 
and then like I said this just snaps in now that it's clipped on all you're gonna have to do is just cut straight down and then that's how you'll have your wall hanging I was thinking about doing this about 30 inches in length then you want to take the top piece and all I'm doing is looping this little twine rope through each of the little black pieces because you can honestly just do that you don't have to add too much to hang this up and then you can go through the other one and then just cut this off and tie it at the top like this which is perfect so i think that's about as much as you need you just want to double knot this and then you can go ahead and just hang it on the wall all right, so now that those are completed, I went ahead and steamed them a little bit. Over time, obviously, being hung up, the fabric will fall exactly how it's supposed to, so you can just give it a little time for that. Now we're gonna move on to the next IKEA hack, which I thought would just be like a fun little twist to put in front of both of these wall hangings, so we'll see if my vision comes to life. The next idea I had was to hang both of these pendants kind of in front of each wall hanging. They're super short, which is why I think I didn't like them in my room. As you can see here, they literally basically hit the ceiling. I don't know why Ikea thought that this design was going to make sense because it literally basically is like two inches from the ceiling when you hang these. So they look terrible hung up. I already tried to do it in my room. So I'm just gonna add a little attachment with the twine to these just to make them drop a little bit lower. So all you have to do is literally tie a piece of twine to the top of each of them. And like I said, this is just going to adjust it so it can hang a little bit lower. I don't know what Ikea was thinking making like the pendant. I guess the idea is that if you're using it electrically, you have a little slack from the actual like lighting maybe. Uh, but if you're actually just gonna hook it using this, it doesn't really work out too well. So there it is, it's attached. We're gonna see if it works and looks a little bit better now. And then if you're wondering, I'm just using these little screw-in hooks to screw them into the ceiling and that's how I'm actually gonna hang them up. So this is what the completed pendant lamps look like and they're basically faux pendant lamps, which is a great option if you're renting like me and you cannot hook up the electrical. I still get the look and the vibe that I'm going for on a budget and it looks so good. So I'm super happy with the way that this side of my new office is turning out. I'm gonna add a few things and just kind of style it a little bit. All right, so this is how I styled this side of my little new office area. I added in this faux plant. It will definitely be linked down below. You guys know that's one of my favorites. And then I have it in my Modernica planner, which I've had for a while. The rug is vintage, but if I find something similar, I'll link it down below. And then over here, I just have my productivity planner some coasters and a vase that I already had. And that is the completed little area over here. Now moving on to the other side. All right, so now we are focusing on finishing up the DIY mom dresser. So all we have to do is go ahead and glue on the pieces that we stained earlier. I'm using a hot glue gun, but I am using a different type of hot glue in it. Keep in mind, you can purchase different types of hot glues to use in your machine. So just be mindful. You may even want to use like a wood glue on this, even though this is just press wood. Super easy, you're just going to use your glue, put some on the back and then line it up and then apply a little bit of pressure. And you're gonna put half a circle on each side up here. And then I will show you moving forward where you are going to put the other half circles. But for now, this is what you would do for the top piece. It is gonna be different moving down on the other parts of the dresser. We put them in the middle on the top because that is where the drawers actually fall, but moving forward, we're going to place them in the middle here. wasn't sure if this was gonna look good and it turned out amazing. I am so happy with it. Mom is definitely one of my favorite Ikea pieces, but to me it can be a little plain and overdone. So adding simple changes like this to it are awesome. And you can still pull it from here to open it. You don't have to use these as handles, but you easily could. So again, a super awesome hack just to kind of spice this little piece up. 
Then to style the dresser, I added in one of these DIY wall hangings that's available in my shop. Then over here to cover up my router, I just have my fun little palm arrangement. So many of you guys asked about these. They're finally available. So I'll have those linked down below. And I think that everything just looks so good. I'm gonna keep the top of the dresser just bare for now because I know I probably have some decor stock that I can just kind of put up there where it kind of looks like it's decor and it's like decorations, but it's actually just some inventory from my store. room makeover. I hope this video was able to give you guys some inspiration. As always, I'll have everything that I used in today's video linked in the description box down below, as well as my new home decor shop. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!